CBS 46 exclusive now guns stolen from a Walton County business and now police and federal agents are looking for the stolen weapons before they can do any harm. CBS 46 is Megan Packer live in Monroe. Megan, what was taken exactly? Rick, two dozen guns, including machine guns. Very concerning for the folks here. The owner at this store tells me the thieves bust right through her uh, front door. They broke right in. They were in and out in less than a minute. They came by these, all these guns right here. Deborah Knight. It was like they knew where they were going. Retraces the steps. They by these. They took inside her store. They stopped right here. Two of them did. They start knocking out this window, uh, glass, and they start grabbing the guns. A third thief went for this wall, taking even more, including machine guns people can rent to shoot at the range here. <laughs> It's terrible. I mean, you, you think, you know, uh, you work hard for something and then these people want to come in and take what you've worked hard for. Um, you know, it's not a good feeling. Surveillance video caught the criminals in the act. They were in and out in less than 60 seconds around 3.30 a.m. Monday at Trading Place Pawn and Sales in Monroe. In all, they got away with 21 handguns, one rifle and two machine guns. These are, you know, dangerous guns in the hands of the wrong people. A very real concern for this retired probation officer. It makes me mad. You know, I'm just angry that somebody would do this, whoever it is. You know, it's probably somebody that has a record that should not have firearms, and he's going to sell them to people that have uh, records and should not have firearms. And now they are working to make some security upgrades here as police and the ATF investigate. If you have any information about this crime, call Monroe Police. Reporting live in Monroe, I'm Megan Packer, CBS 46 News.